Hey guys, uh, one of the things I seem to get asked a fair bit about is our GoPro mounts um, and how we attach them to our helmets. So I thought it'd be easiest just to do a quick video and um, and show you guys for whoever's interested. So obviously there's a few options with mounting. You can put them on the side of your helmet, on the top, underneath your visor. Um, but we've gone for the chin mount purely because it's easy to see if the camera's recording I can see the little red light flashing in the corner here and it's it's out of the way um, Also, like it doesn't get in, into your field of view too much and obviously uh, Unlike being on the top or on the side of your helmet. It doesn't get caught on um, branches and vines and stuff So when I first got the camera, I just thought I'd quickly bodge up a mount for it but it's actually worked out so well that I've just kept it and um, I've actually done the same on that helmet as well. So all it is um, is a J mount zip tied to the uh, mouthpiece grill there in front of the helmet. So basically you can get these J mounts off eBay for about $4 or something like that delivered. Um, they unscrew from the buckle on the bottom with three screws there. So you'll end up with just the buckle separate. And then the J piece, which is the piece that we want. Um, all I've done, as you can see here, drilled two holes in it. One hole, one hole here. And put a zip tie on either side through the through the vents on the, on the uh, helmet. So four zip ties all up. It's actually rock solid. It doesn't move anyway. I had to file on the back of that J piece a bit just to make it sit nice on the helmet there. But really a very quick cheap easy lightweight solution and the best thing about it is so if you need to change the battery or whatever in your gopro you can just fold it down unclip it pull it out and, and when you go to put it back you just put it straight back like i've set it up so that it's that's exactly the right angle for it to be at all the way back so i think with some other mounting options you, you might have to you know you're never sure if it's pointing the right way but with this solution i know that it's set up so all the way back is the perfect angle that I want for recording. So yeah, that's just another bonus to it. And as I said, cheap, easy, pretty tough. Like I haven't broken it yet, even though it's taken a tumble down some hills. So I mean, there are other options for mounting the GoPro on your chin, such as the Dango Gripper, I think it's called. And there's the Pro Shot, the Velcros on the side here. They all have their advantages over this system but they also have their disadvantages i think um nothing like this is ever perfect but yeah this this works for us and it's it's great so yeah if you've got a got a spare four bucks and a, a drill and a couple of zip ties uh it, it depends a lot on your helmet here and what what you'd be able to zip tie to it i didn't have to drill any holes in the helmet um or anything like that it's just hadn't i didn't have to modify the helmet at all it's just um yeah, just zipped on, zip tied onto the existing holes. For the rear view footage, we just have a, a standard uh, curved mount taped onto the back of the helmet there. Um, you can set one of these buckles in there, obviously. Um, yeah, so it's pretty basic stuff. So yeah, that's how we uh, that's how we do it, guys. Cheers.